So it's your first day skating or you're looking to get into skateboarding. In this video, I'm going to be going over what your first day of skating will look like and basically give you some tips that are going to help you, you know, throughout your skateboarding progression. So my name is Sean Brown. I do a lot of skateboarding videos on my channel. So if you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing. But yeah, basically I'm just going to go over, you know, some things that you're going to, you know, expect to run into on your first day skating and then like i said before give you some tips that'll help you out throughout your progression so pretty much jumping into it you definitely want to make sure you have a skateboard i do actually have a video on how to buy a skateboard and how to pick out all the parts you need for your skateboard so make sure you click the car in the top right corner right here if you want to see that video but yeah basically there isn't really you know too much to set up a board i just go over like a few tips in there but just make sure you know you definitely have a skateboard when you're out on your first day skating and you know if you can't even afford your own Try to find a friend who has one and try to ride theirs. So first we're going to talk about stance and basically stance is how you stand on the skateboard. So whatever, like which foot is forward on the board. You can either have your left foot forward on the board, which is called regular, or you can have your right foot forward on the board, which is called goofy. And basically if you also think about it, your popping foot. So if you're regular, your right foot is your popping foot. And if you're goofy, your left foot is your popping foot. So basically there's like, you know, a way to tell your stance, there's kind of two things you can do. So first you can just try to ride on the skateboard and see what feels more comfortable. It is going to be kind of weird, you know, on your first day, it's like going to be extremely weird because you're not really going to know what feels more comfortable. Just go with your gut instinct. But the next thing you can do is like, just think of if you were to fall forward, what foot would you land on first? So pretty much, you know, if you fall on your left foot first, like your left foot is the one that catches you, then you might want to try the regular stance with your left foot forward. If you land your right foot first, um, then you know you might want to put your right foot forward which is goofy so you can try that tip you know it's not no guarantee to figure out which one's best but you know over time you just want to at least pick one that feels the most comfortable and that's what you want to stick with the rest of your skating or you can even learn both and you could become like p-rod and you know get all the nice tricks switch or regular um... okay so before i even go into the next step so if you're feeling really uncomfortable and you're definitely a beginner you really want to make sure you're wearing a helmet seriously better safe than sorry sometimes i don't really wear it when i'm skating flat ground but that's just a personal choice but whenever i'm at the skate park i definitely wear a helmet and i would definitely recommend it for beginners especially if it's your first day skating so now that you have your stance figured out the next thing you need to know how to do is actually push i say that's more important than actually learning how to ride first because you can always have your foot to the side as you do it so i'm going to show you first so, you know, pushing, that's how you're gonna propel yourself forward on the skateboard. See, I don't even have to ride. I just have one foot on it the entire time. So, just some pushing basics. So, basically, when you're pushing, you wanna make sure that you're actually leaning forward in the direction that you're rolling. Uh, mainly because, you know, if you're leaning back and you're trying to push, then you might shoot the board outwards. Also, something that's different when you're gonna be pushing is, you know, usually when people ride on the board, they have their toes pointing outwards. See, like how my to toes are pointing towards the camera. Um, when you're actually pushing, you want your toes to be pointing towards the nose in that direction that you're actually rolling. One thing is it gives you more leverage when pushing because if I had my foot to the side like this while I'm pushing, it's going to be super awkward. So the basic steps to pushing pretty much is sometimes I like to tell people like just act like you're walking, go heel to toe. So I say like, you know, heel, right? And I push off my toe, heel, push off your toe, right? And I'll even show it uh, in the other stance so you guys can see. So if this was goofy, then you see I have my right foot pointing forward towards the nose. Now I'm just gonna go heel, toe, heel, toe. And basically you wanna be acting like you're pushing backwards because you're trying to like, you know, propel yourself. So you're just like, you're pushing yourself. So push, like have your foot go backwards as you push off. But yeah, really all of this is just gonna come down to practice and time. So really just, you know, get that heel, toe down pushing just like that. Don't even worry about putting your foot back on the board yet. You just want to get the pushing down. Okay, so the next thing you're going to be worrying about when uh, you're skating on your skateboard is going to be your balance. So there's kind of like a couple things you have to think about. So first, just standing on the board, like I kind of mentioned before, um, you want to make sure you're standing on the bolts because the wider your stance is on the board, like don't go overboard and you know, go all the way like this, but the wider your stance is on the board, the more stability you're going to have. Because see, if I have my feet close here, there's more room for me to like lose my balance versus if I have my feet right on the bolts, I'm more stable, right? So tip number one is to make sure you keep your balance, put your feet on the bolts. Second is to make sure you have your knees slightly bent. You don't want to like be too stiff legged as you're riding because you have more room to, you know, slip off like that versus if your knees are bent, 
you know, you have a little more control if you start to slip a little bit. And like I mentioned before, uh, just like you're pushing, you want to make sure you're leaning forward in the direction that you're riding. So I'll actually turn my back. I don't know. Hopefully the mic still picks it up. But if I'm riding like this, you know, feet wide, knee, knees a little bent, just lean a little bit for it. Because if you lean too far back, then, you know, you're more tempted to slip out. So if anything, remember, feet on the bolts, knees slightly bent, and then lean forward towards the nose of the board where you're rolling. So since it's like your first day skating, you know, you're not really going to be able to do tricks right off the bat. So another thing that kind of goes with balance is learning how to kick turn because if your trucks aren't super loose, you're going to have a hard time, you know, just turning by pressing down on your toes or pressing down on your heels to go to either side. So in most cases, you want to learn the kick turn, which is just, you know, turning like this. You're basically using your back truck to lift up your front truck and you're turning your shoulders and hips so you can, you know, turn directions. So if I go this way, you'll see if I start rolling, I want to go to the right, I can just lift up this way, lift up that way, you know, whatever way I need to turn, if I need to turn all the way around. You can even do many ones, you can just like many ones, or you can just go all the way like a 180, all the way like a 360, like a, I don't even know. <laughs> but basically, it's just a matter of balance. It's going to take some time to actually get this down. This is like one of the most uncomfortable things, especially if it's your first day. But basically you want to have your feet in the wide stance, right? But you're also going to put your back foot a little closer to the tail of the board. So I'm regular. So just whatever your back foot is, put it on the tail of the board. And basically don't even think of it as like pressing down. A lot of people think that you press down and then turn, right? Think of it as like, since you already have your back foot here, just lift this knee up and the weight will automatically go to your back foot. So you're going to want to just put your back foot in that position, lift your knee up, and then turn your shoulders and waist in the direction that you want to kick turn in. So if I'm like here, I just lift my knee up, turn my shoulders and my waist in that direction. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but I just like using that tip of only lifting up your knee while your back foot is in that position. So hopefully the mic still picks me up. I'm going to roll over, just lift my knee up, turn around. So you're definitely going to... Shoot. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> So you're definitely gonna wanna know that maneuver because it's gonna be so important when you're first starting to ride because that's the only way you're really gonna be able to turn directions unless your trucks are loose enough to just lean on your toes and heels like this. So if I lean my toes more, I'm like kind of turning. But basically, that's definitely essential to learn the kick turn. So one thing I also just wanna mention is that, you know, with your first day skating, it's gonna be super tough. I wanna say just have fun with it and don't have too big of ambitions of what you're going to do on your first day. It's going to be real tough. I don't want to scare you though, because the progression part is the best part of skateboarding. I could definitely say like where I am now, like after I progressed a lot, it's not as fun as, you know, when I was in the beginner stages, learning all my things. So just know it will take some time. If you don't believe me, watch my like progression video where I basically showcase my four years of skateboarding and you'll see how much I progress. It really just takes time and practice. So please don't give up. Just promise me on that. You won't give up on this because skateboarding is so fun. You'll also fall when you skateboard, but just get back up. So you're also probably wanting to learn how to ollie or you know some other tricks like that so you can check out all the other videos on my channel so i have uh why you can't ollie videos doing really well we just reached over 500,000 views on that video so thank you so much but if you're still struggling with the ollie especially if it's your first day look at my video called five tricks you can learn before the ollie i'll actually link in the top right corner here but make sure you check out that video because, you know, the ollie is a tough trick. Even though it's classified as a beginner trick, it's one of the first tricks that you'll ever learn. So that's what makes it pretty tough. Um, but, you know, just don't give up on it. There's still other tricks you can learn before the ollie. Ooh, guys, it is getting so hot out here. But seriously, yeah. So, you know, just with your progression, just know it's going to take some time and practice. Your first day of skating, you know definitely try to give it some friends if you're by yourself no worries you know you can watch some other people on youtube you know talk to people through youtube instagram whatever you need to do to find your motivation or you know have people that can help you with your progression but yeah hopefully this video you know didn't turn out too long but uh you know all those people you see doing kick flips tray flips all those other crazy tricks they had to go through the beginner stage too so don't think you know if you're out in your first day and you kind of suck you're not really sucking it's just your first day so don't beat yourself up too much really just keep going at it have fun with it make some friends through it just keep progressing your skating um but yeah that's pretty much it you know definitely 
just keep a good outlook for skateboarding. It teaches you a lot of things. I think I'm rambling on too much, but seriously, please don't give up. If you're gonna make one promise to me, please don't give up on it. Otherwise than that, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Otherwise than that, peace out. It is so hot out here, y'all. I'm about to go watch some Netflix.